All right, everybody, I have got the Alec Murdoch timeline, and I've got it down to the minute. I'm going to show you. It's a little modified than when I had it before. I'm going to show you how it was two killers came out of the woods, what they did, when they did it, where they walked to afterwards, and what happened down to the minute where I can show you the phone that Maggie's phone dropped over on Moselle Road. Down to the minute. Ready? Let's get going. All right. According to Paul, and Paul and Maggie's backlight, meaning their iPhone. You touch it, light comes on. They had it set on auto lock for 30 seconds. Remember that. So, Paul was killed at 8.48 p.m. on June 21st, 2021. Um, okay. His phone locked at 8.48.30, which means he dropped his phone, shot, was dead. Okay. 8.48.30. Uh, Maggie was killed 30 seconds later. Give or take a few seconds, she was killed 30 seconds later at 8.49, so 8.49, that's 30 seconds after Paul, 8.49.01, Maggie was killed, 8.49.31, Maggie's phone locks, 30 seconds, locks, okay? Okay, let's get to it. So, now, I want you to look at this picture here, and this is a picture of Moselle, and I'm going to show you where the cop the sheriff was standing with Alec when, uh, on the body cam when they were looking uh, at tire tracks. Then I'm going to show you where they ended up walking to and how long it took. That little star is where they're standing. So now we've established Maggie was killed at 849.01. Her phone locks at 849.31. And from 839.31 to 853.15, that's about 3 minutes and 15 seconds, um, the shooters do nothing. What they're probably doing, since Alec is back at the house, what they're probably doing is just sitting tight and waiting to see if they see any headlights. What they have to do next? Do they have to run? I'm sure they're talking to themselves like, holy shit, we just killed Paul. Holy shit, we just killed Maggie. That all takes about three minutes and 15 seconds, okay? Uh, from 8.53.15 to 8.55, Maggie's phone takes 59 steps. Watch where this ends. Oh, my God. There it is. 149 feet equals 59 steps straight from Google Earth. Go ahead and do it yourself. Holy shit. You're shining your light on right there. So there in the background behind where Mr. Murdoch is standing, you can see several sets of tire tracks. Um, the, the grass was really wet that night, so those tracks appeared to be really fresh. So I, it caught my eye. And why did it catch your eye? It just seemed odd that there were, it appeared to be that many sets of tire tracks since he said he'd pulled up, went to the house, and came back. It just appeared that there were more than just that. It appeared that there were more tracks than just that. That's correct. I see some, uh, quite a few tire tracks in here. Were any of these you going in and out? Oh, no, I came in here and I left one down and I came. So now we know the killers are sitting at the end of the barn away from the crime scene. And we also know that the police have verified for us, along with Alec, that there were fresh tire tracks that night in the same vicinity away from the crime scene over by the back entrance of Moselle. Cop verified it the night of the murder. He verified it on the stand. Alex confirmed it. Okay. So we've got 59 steps. There they are sitting over there. He is sitting by the barn. Maybe they talk for a minute. What are you going to do? Uh, I, I'm going to go run and go get the, the uh, truck. Okay. Well, hurry back. I'll be here. And so that truck is a half mile away over by Swamp Cross Road. I told you about that before. Uh, it takes a human about 10 minutes to walk. Uh, a half a mile, okay? So we got 10 minutes. So at 8.55, 32 is when her phone stops. During that time, from 8.53 to 8.55, it goes vertical, sideways, vertical, sideways, vertical, okay? Uh, then her uh, her backlight, let's see, so 8.55. Now let's add 10 minutes to that. Then you're going to drive. Half mile takes about a minute. You're going to drive. Now we're at 11 minutes, okay? Alec 
calls Maggie's phone at 9.06.14. Oh, shit. And it makes a sideways change. And then it makes goes from vertical to this 10 seconds later. Now you're at 9.20, okay? Almost 9.30. And it not, at, at 9.06.30 is when her phone goes like this to play the two up from portrait to landscape. That's when it's thrown out the window because at 9.07 on the dot, 30 seconds later, as I told you, her backlight's 30 seconds, her phone lands on the side of the road at 9.07 and there it sits. It does nothing from there on out. That's another minute, 12 minutes. So let's take 9.07 and let's subtract uh, 12 minutes from that. See what we get. So here you go. The shooter's at 8.54.32. He takes off, goes, gets the truck. That's 10 minutes. That's a one-minute drive back. And they toss the phone at 9.06.30, where it lands, and her off-light goes back at 9.07 p.m. on the side of the road at Moselle. Holy shit, this thing worked out down to the minute, down to the seconds. I couldn't believe it when I did it myself, but you put the times in, and they are 100% right. That's it. Oh, my God. Holy shit. It's right on the dot, right down to the minute. Alex Murdoch did not kill these people. He did not kill his family. Uh, Randy Murdoch, any of the Murdochs, you listening to this, you watching this, you contact me. You message me on this app. Um, message me on this app and tell me to follow you back so we can message each other because... I bet I can go into that woods and show you exactly where those guys were standing, exactly where they were standing before they came out of the woods and shot your nephew Paul and shot your sister-in-law Maggie. Then I can show you exactly how many steps it was to where they were and where the tire tracks were and how they got out. You want to figure this out? Get a hold of me. This is how it happened, people. Police confirmed it. Alex confirmed it. All by video. Night of the murders. I've got it down to the seconds. And this isn't stuff I'm making up. This is time, real-time things. Alex Morlach is not guilty. Didn't kill his family.